We are a team of art robbers renowned for stealing famous paintings. However, because of the recent lockdowns, we have been unsuccessful in stealing real artwork. To adapt to these circumstances, we began forging paintings instead of stealing. During our recent trips to the Louvre, we found our next talent, Monet. Here's our story. As we were thinking of how to forge Monet's paintings, we came across a deep learning technique called Generative Adversarial Network, GANS for short. In GANS, there are two competing networks, learning as they try to outdo each other. One network, the discriminator, sees images which are either real or fake. It must try to determine which is which. The other network, the generator, sees the inputs which give it inspiration to create fake images. It must fool the discriminator into thinking that its images are real. The discriminator is penalized when it classifies real images as fake or fake images as real. On the other hand, the generator is penalized when the discriminator correctly classifies fake images as fake. As the discriminator and generator try to minimize these penalties or losses, both get better and better at their task. The basic questions we needed answered were What are the limits of guns? How can we design more effective generators and discriminators of money art? How can we make their training more efficient and stable? First, we tried to use a deep convolutional gun, a type of gun where the generator uses random noise as the input on which to base its forgery. The training of the DC gun faced many difficulties such as instability, where there were sudden large spikes in performance, and early convergence, where learning stopped taking place. We were not able to overcome these difficulties. As you can see, our generated image looks quite different from Monet's art. Attempting to sell our first attempt, one of our members got arrested. We kept searching for a new method, and soon, we found a new technique. This technique is known as Psychogun. In contrast to DC gun, Psycho gun takes in images and tries to apply Monet style to them. In the diagram, you can see how this thing transforms to zebras. This result of modification is graded before it is demodified. Similarly, the demodification is graded. These grades are used to improve the next round of modification. The process is repeated until optimal modification is achieved. Not bad, isn't it? Our technique was able to produce this image, which looks like a cross between Monet's art and an actual picture. With our new and improved masterpiece, we met a new buyer. This time, the buyer was impressed by the artwork and was about to close the deal when he realized certain problems with the image. Though our fakes had improved considerably, they were still not good enough. We ended up being arrested and made the front page news. Training guns is a very difficult task. There is a balance of strike between the generator and the discriminator's learning, and there are many choices to make for the underlying architecture of the networks in a gun. Major challenges like instability and a failure to learn must be handled by managing how fast the networks can learn from specific examples. But even then, the quality of images is not guaranteed. Intensive experimentation must be done to find out which architectures can create the best images. 